This is one of those classical samurai ninja type techniques. You know, we're working on controlling the blade, and actually, this falls underneath what's called nagara uke, or flowing blocks, where you're controlling, passing through, and then moving in to close the space to take control of whatever opening you create. Okay. Now, with all of that being said, ultimately, when you're fighting, if you have a knife and someone's attacking you, you want. I mean, we talked about this a second ago, but if you can cut into the arm, whether it's here, here, that's primary. And that's because these muscles here, you know, the forearms, that's what the muscles are tight to hold the knife. From a goshin jutsu or self-defense situation, the objective is to stop the attacker so that you can get to safety. The objective is not to kill somebody. He, this is going to be against a simple stab. He's going to come at me and he's just going to stab kind of at the upper gate. So we've talked about upper gate, middle gate, lower gate. Anything shoulders up is the upper gate. Anything shoulder to hip is the middle gate. Anything below the hips we call the lower gate. So this is going to be more of an upper gate. It's going to be to the throat area. He's lunging in. He's going to try to get this right into my throat. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have the knife. And we're going to, again, hold it with a regular grip, right? Tainu uchi sort of thing. But as he comes in, I'm going to then cut into this spot here. Now as we cut, to the inner thigh, I'm sorry, to the inner forearm here, I want to, when, you, when you grip the knife, we talked about gripping the sword earlier, when you grip the knife it's important that if it doesn't have the, the, the suba, right, or the hand guard, you want your thumb on the back of the blade like this. And the reason you want to fight with the thumb like this, if I stab, if I come in here like this and he moves into me, you see how that collapses? But if I do this, he moves into me, that doesn't collapse. It pierces into him. So we want to have a, a, a strong foundation on the back of the blade to be more of an effective strike or cut into the targeted area. When he comes in, go ahead and do it again. As he's coming high, I'm going to use this kind of as a block, a slice and a block into this area so I can cut into the area that will hopefully stop him from holding this damn weapon. Again, the goal in self-defense is to stop the threat and to get to safety. The goal in self-defense is not to kill somebody. So as soon as I cut this here, as I cut in, I'm going to then check. And now from here, it's going to be whatever target we move into. From here, we're just going to go ahead and just make a strike right into the midsection, and then we're going to back away. Okay? So again, as he comes in, so sort of cutting here. One, two, here, and then we'll come in the way. That's going to be the technique. Right? So we're here, cut. One, two, here, and then come back out. Again, one, two, here, and then come back out. Does this make sense? Now, things that you don't want to do when you cut into this, don't grab. There would be fluid or something that could be slip, slick, and then he could cut into me as well. So the reason we're, when we do it, we call it a check. And what a check is, when I cut, I'm checking. Notice I just have my forearm there. I put a little resistance on me there. Pretty, I can feel his body, so move your arm around so I can... See, I can feel where that arm is, and I can keep it in, quote unquote, check. That's what the check is for. That hand is not there to grab that arm, grab the wrist, or anything else, because there's going to be fluid from when I made the cut. So you don't grab the damn thing. I'm just going to cut it. When I cut, check, strike, and then I'm going to come back out. You see the technique? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have fun. Thank you. Instead of just like, okay, it's this mindless action of me just doing something, I got to keep my mind in play as to what's going on. With that being, and that's and that's an important aspect of martial arts training because you, everything that you do is going to be predicated on what they do. And we've already talked about like excessive force. You just can't go in there and just like stab someone 50 times and expect for the judge to just let you out on the street. Now I, I, I assume that would be. I would assume most judges are going to go by the law, right? So you, you do have to realize that when they say. Like I said earlier, they say, well, in street fights, there's no such thing as rules. You know, okay, fine, there are, and they call them laws. So you need to make sure you abide by the law, or your ass is going to be in the same damn cell as the one that you just got in a fight with. you got to be duking it out for the next, you know, 90 days or however long you're in there. You know? So make sure that you, we stick to that. This technique is going to involve a little randori. It's going to involve you watching the situation and determining whether or not you need to do something else. So let's look at the technique we just did. Mr. Debris came in with a stab. When he came into the stab, I cut here. As I cut here, I came in with a block and a check. As my check came through, 
This is exactly the position we were in. I came with a stab. After I did the stab, I covered out. Right? Okay. Now, any time did Dupree drop that knife? No. That's the only reason why that stab would be okay. If we do the same technique, and let's say as I make the, this cut, Dupree's going to drop the knife when I make my check. I'm not going to make that cut. I'm just going to come out here and make sure his ass goes a different way. I need to get to safety. Remember, self-defense is to get to safety. Stop the threat, get to safety. So the drill that we're going to work now is if I do this and Dupree does not drop the knife, go ahead, he doesn't drop it, I'm going to give him one more and then I'm going to step out in position. If we do this, he comes in with a stab and he drops the knife, I'm not going to make that, I'm just going to step out and then get to safety. So now we're going to look at it as a, okay, what's going on? Control the mind, control the body. You understand the drill?